To the top stories now, the federal government plans to spend 1.2 trillion naira on servicing the loans it got from the Central Bank of Nigeria through the means and wage advances. The 2023 fiscal framework document obtained uh, by newsmen showed that the federal government allocated 6.31 trillion naira to service its total debts. The breakdown showed that the federal government allocated approximately 3.3 trillion naira to service domestic debts, 1.81 trillion naira for foreign debts, and 1.2 trillion naira for ways and means. The document also showed that this was the first time the federal government was making a budgetary allocation for ways and means. However, the CBN has said on its website that the federal government's borrowing from it through the ways and means advances could have adverse effect on the bank's monetary policy to the detriment of domestic prices and exchange rates. And now the Ports and Terminal Multipurpose Limited Command of the Nigeria Customs Service has said that the introduction of vehicles identification number VIN for clearing of imported vehicles led to a 40% drop in imported vehicles in 2022. That going controller of the command, Acting Assistant Controller General Suleiman Bumai, who discussed this on Tuesday while briefing journalists on the activities of the command for the year, said that the command generated 229 billion naira as revenue into the federal government's coffers in 2022. He said that the figure represented 96% of the revenue target of 238 billion naira set for the command for the period under review. Bumai said the revenue generated was 5 billion naira higher than the 224 billion naira revenue collected in the corresponding period of 2021. The Central Bank of Nigeria revealed that there is no scarcity of new naira notes. This was disclosed by Goldwyn Emefiele, the CBN director represented by Musa Jimo, director of the Payment System Management Department of the bank in Jos. The Nigerian Senate urged the CBN to extend the deadline by six months, but the CBN says there is no going back on its January 31st deadline. The CBN governor also advised Nigerians to deposit old notes before the deadline, insisting that there is no going back. He also added that the decision to redesign the currency is in line with global standards, adding that they are to redesign every five years, but Nigeria took nine years since its last currency design. Coca-Cola Company has unveiled programs aimed at reducing plastic waste around the globe in furtherance of its environmental sustainability project. The company made this known in a release titled Coca-Cola Strategic Intervention in Environmental Sustainability. The new plan, the firm said, would be geared at reducing plastic waste globally, setting an ambitious goal of making 100% of its packaging recyclable globally by 2025. It added that the company had begun by redesigning PET, PET for its products in order to make them recyclable.